What is up YouTube? I'm not having a very good start to my day at like on this YouTube shit today. It's not been good. Like 2K is messing around with me. I did it start today. It crashes once. Got it to work and then I forgot to, you know, load the draft class up. So then I had to start all over, do another start today, and then I got to start today and then the free agency, there was no free agents. Derek Rose was still on my team even though he's supposed to be a free agent. It's just been a mess. So I had to simulate all the way you know, through the season, so, you know, the Thunder won the championship, and, and then, on draft night, you know how, when you can, like, you, you know, you want to trade your pick for, you know, maybe, and you go to trade finder, trade your pick, and, you know, most of the time, you know, the other team's offering who they just drafted, and then it was saying that I need, like, a, every trade item needs to go to a valid team, I don't know, 2K is, you know, already messing with me, so I had to do an overwrite trade. It was just making me so mad. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and get started in this video. Uh, Marshall Plumley, Maurice Nauer. Okay, so enough from me. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope the summer is still going well for y'all. Mine's been going pretty well. I'm glad for the weekend. I'm happy for the weekend. Um, Derek Rose might be somebody we can bring back because I remember. Um, I brought him back in my um, New York Knicks rebuild as our six man, and he was doing some work as our six man, so I would not count that out. So, but let's go ahead and get started with what we're going to be doing first. Joe Kim Noah and Courtney Lee get off my Knicks team. Um, well, like I said, um, what's his nuts is gone. Phil Jackson's gone. It's all me. I'm the president of operations or whatever Phil Jackson is. And we're doing this right here, right now, how I want to do it. I would trade Carmelo Anthony, um, but we might keep him around because I don't... Oh, wait, I can trade him. Whoa, I can trade him. Um, wow, Kevin Love, that actually makes sense. Usually Carm uh, usually you can't trade Carmelo, so let's see what we get for him, though. Um, Marcus Aldridge, Devin Booker. Ooh, that's nice, but I would have to trade Malik Monk. That's the theme of the video. We're not doing that. Bradley Beal. We have a shooting guard. I'm going for this Kevin Love deal because, you know, this deal has been heavily rumored. And we get J.R. Smith back in a New York Knicks uniform. I'm all for it. So we're going to do this trade. I just traded my 2020 lottery protected pick. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Yep. Lottery protect. We don't even go in the 2020 season. So that was a real trade rumor going on. So we trade Carmelo. It usually does not let you trade Carmelo. So we got Kevin Love. You can easily move Crips, Staps, Porzingis to the center. I don't think he, yeah, he stays the same. So that's awesome for us. Um, other than that, let's see who else is on a terrible contract. J.R. Smith's contract is not for my liking, but I'll keep it because he used to be on the Knicks. I'll keep it for now. If I, you know, start to have trouble with it, I might trade it away. Lance Thomas, that's another contract getting rid of. And then we're going to go ahead and see what we got in free agency. Um, I'll take the Chicago Bulls second rounder. That's fine. All right, so let's go in this free agency. See what we got. We got the man, Steph Curry. We're going to go for anyone here. Um, we already have a power forward. I wouldn't mind having Kevin Durant. I haven't signed Kevin Durant in quite a while, and I know the New York Knicks were wanting to sign Kevin Durant um, in the offseason but didn't work out. Uh, Kyle Lowry is someone I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, just burped in the mic. Sorry about that. Um, let's see what they say. Um, uh, Kevin Rant and Blake Griffin accepted other offer. The only time I've ever signed Steph Curry before was when I was doing a New York Knicks rebuild. Can that happen again, dude? <sighs> what can I do? What can I do, Steph Curry, to convince you to come to my team? I can't do nothing. All right, so... I don't want to get Gordon Hayward because I feel like I've gotten them uh, quite a bit, like quite a lot. Uh, I know there was ever, there's been rumors about Jeff Teague being at the Knicks sometimes, but I don't know. What do we really need? We have shooting guards. We have Kevin Love now. We have big man. Uh, actually going to do this. Which one of you? You go to a 79. You go to a 78. So I'm going to do that. Power forward, center. So we got some big man. We don't really have a legitimate small forward, and we don't have a legitimate point guard, so that's a problem. Derrick Rose obviously could always come back. So we don't have a power forward. I'm thinking Paul Millsap. 
Um, or no, we do have a power forward. We could easily move Palmos up to three, though. Um, Otto Porter would be kind of nice, I feel like. Shoot, point guard-wise. I feel like we could sign Jeff Teague and then have we could sign Derek Rose on bird rights. I think that's the best uh, thing here. Um, Paul Millsop accepted other offers. So we get Jeff Teague back. All right, now how much money do we have? We have 13 million to sign a four. And then let's see, Derek Rose don't have any offers. So let's wait on that. We need to sign a three, not a, not a four, a three for under 13 million. Joe Ingles, 29. Shabazz Muhammad, I'm going to do this one. 12 million for Shabazz. Let's do that one. Do they match? They don't. Then let's sign Derek Rose to be our six. No, I don't want to give you no trade clause. To okay, I'm glad we got him. I, I didn't realize someone else gave him an offer. So uh, Derek Rose will be our six man once again. Jeff Teague. So these are two nice point guard options. We have J.R. Smith, and uh, I'll, this team is pretty nice. I feel like this is an okay for starting. It's an okay start team. Uh, we have the free ag free agency coming up next season. So hopefully, um, you know, we can start doing well on 2K because, you know, if you saw the last rebuild, I got screwed over big time. And then the way 2K has started me today, it just hasn't been going well. So hopefully we get a good simulation and I'll see you guys next season. All right. I'm actually kind of disappointed that uh, Malik Monk didn't win rookie of the year. I'll show you why his numbers show that he should have won. And then six man of the year. I thought Derrick Rose might win, but he didn't, which is okay. But, uh, you know, Malik Monk better well find himself on the all rookie first team. I was about to say, look at this guy's stats. So like 18, almost 19 points a game. I guess his stats were down across the board. He was more of a scorer. So I guess that's probably why he didn't uh, win. Rookie of the year, that makes sense. Derek Rose, 14, 6 assists. I feel like he could have been a 6-man candidate. Um, probably was. But we did make the playoffs. We made the playoffs with the Knicks, you know, which isn't an easy thing to do. But when you have a team like this, I guess it might be a little easier. But uh, we're facing the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. Let's see how they're looking. We got Giannis, Jabari Parker, Chris Middleton. They signed JaVale McGee. And Thon Makers progressed to 77. Malcolm Brogdon a 79. Let's just see how well this series will go. We are up one, up two, up three, and we sweep the Bucks. So um, nice right there. I feel like our team is pretty damn good. Porzingis and uh, Blake Monk is going to be a nice duo in the future if they are able to snag uh, Blake Monk. I think the Knicks are the seventh pick, I believe. If they're able to snag Blake Monk there, that would be nice. Jeff Teague. Derek Rose, awesome. It's been all. Wait, did Shabazz Muhammad um, averaging? Am I on the right thing? Playoff stats. Yeah, 16. I saw that. I was like, damn, Shabazz. Um, I knew. Uh, let's see how these games went 27 20, Jeff Teague 19 and 10. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. So uh, we got it. We might. We're probably facing the Celtics. And we are. So we're going to look at the Celtics roster. You know, the Celtics had a. Great season, but just wasn't meant to be. They did draft Markel Fultz, which makes sense. Um, Allen Williams. So this is a decent team. We're going to have a little more troubles with this one, I feel like. Let's just see how it goes. They're up one. They're up two. Let's do some sim casts. I feel like we could win a championship this season. I know it's crazy to say, but we do have a pretty solid team. Nice depth. We do have some nice depth. Uh, let's win one game. No, we go down three. Oh, and we're eliminated. So uh, that does suck, but we got to think about um, a lot of things this off season, which we will be doing because right now it's, I mean, it's all right. We're in pretty good standing, but I gave a lot of people unnecessary money, and we're gonna have to think about that. Um, you know, Shabazz went out and kind of showed me that he's kind of worth that contract I gave him. In the season, he averaged 15. I mean, what? What more could I want from a guy like that? He went out there and did his best. So, I don't know, man. It's just things like that that makes me think, like, what should I really do? Draft lottery. I don't think we have – let me turn trades back on. I don't think we have any nice picks, really. I don't think we do. Uh, I can't even check. 
Um, staff signing. Can I check trades now? I can. We have the 22nd and 23rd, so it wouldn't have been worth going there. Let's see if we can just trade this away. Let's wait on it. Let's see if we can maybe get it. Oh, we don't need staff sign. Let's go to the draft. Uh, should we try to sit here and trade our draft pick for something? Uh, maybe we trade J.R. Smith because, sorry, dude, I love that you came back to New York, but we just we just can't. Use you, Taj Gibson, Kent Bazemore, Michael Key Gilchrist, Terrence Ross. I'm getting some nice deals out here like that. We get a nice backup center in Dwayne Deadman, but I believe we already have some nice backups. Lance Stevenson, uh, what? Gorgie Dang, Gortat. These are all nice deals. Maybe I'll take this Lance uh, Stevenson deal. I don't want Etwan Moore, though. I guess you'll have to give him to me. Whatever. I will trade you Etwan Moore right off the bat. Just saying, I don't need you. I will take Lance Stevenson, though, because I do like his game. Uh, Troy Daniels, you gave me another pick. That's fine. Okay. So, we don't need the draft. Um, second. Wait. Did we snag a guy? Wow, he was a 71 overall. That's pretty nice. Uh, Porzingis, Kyle Quinn decided to decline. That sucks because he's pretty nice on this team. All right, so Paul George is sitting in free agency. He's tough to get nowadays. Man Mendugas Kuzimakis. I don't know who you are. Kyle Quinn doesn't want to come back. Glenn Robinson, Aaron Flalo. You used to be with the Knicks, huh? Yeah, it didn't really work out, did it? Um, free agency, Paul George, Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is here? Ooh, we got to think about that for a second. If we can go out and snag Isaiah Thomas for this team, can you imagine? What if, what if I just trade this duo point guard, you know, duo point guards, and I go out there and just get something nice? Chris Middleton is a... Um, what do we have for shooting guards? We have Malik Monk, obviously. Andre Iguodala, uh, Monte Ellis. I don't know, man. Do I take a risk? I'll take. I guess I'll take Chris Middleton for now. I don't want Mirza. I hate how I have to take people sometimes. So I just made the Bucks better in a way, which wasn't my ideal. But if I can go out there and get Isaiah Thomas, maybe. Actually, don't want to give you to the Cavs. I'll give you to the Mavs. If I can go out there and get Isaiah Thomas, that would be so nice. All right, guys. So I'm here in uh, free agency, and I struck out Isaiah Thomas, man. It kind of sucked. Kind of bittersweet. But we're going to be trading Carmelo, Chris Milton, for Bradley Beal and Otto Porter. Yes. I don't know if we're going to keep Otto Porter, but, uh, you know, that makes the Wizards weaker. Um, that makes us stronger, but it also makes it to where we don't have a point guard. Um Beal is going to be a sh all right. Let's. I want to experiment with this. Um, Malik Monk, do you go down? I move if you, you go down one, that's something I would consider. You go up to a 77 small forward, but um, it's probably best if I trade Lance Stevenson. There's just not a spot for you on this team. If we have, if we, I don't know if we're not gonna have a backup power forward anymore, so this is perfect. Get Bobby Portis. Because uh, we don't have a backup four. Um, so Kevin Love, Bobby Fortis, that's nice right there. So literally all we really need right now is a point guard. And we're three million under the salary. So um, point guards, Marcus Smart is the best thing we can get out here. What's the best available? Zach Levine. We have bird rights on Kyle Quinn. Maybe sign him for some trade bait real quick although I don't know what I could get for him Seth Curry is a nice knockdown shooter out here but he wants some money brah he wants some money I am kind of gonna consider moving Malik Monk to point guard after the addition of Bradley Beal because I can keep Otto Porter here and that would be pretty nice too um, but right now we're gonna experiment with Kyle Quinn maybe I will uh, go ahead and move Malik Monk to point guard. I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't know how well he can play the point guard position. And we got to go out here and get a nice backup point guard. 
Um, we already have a nice backup small forward. I would take that. Corey Joseph is perfect almost. Tony Allen. Bojan Bogdanovic, a nice knockdown shooter. But Corey Joseph for a backup point guard. Um, I'm going to have to take this, although I'm giving them a lot of first rounders. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and move Lake Monk to point guard. And now we need, we don't, actually, we really don't need a backup shooting guard. We can run an Iron Man rotation. Everything would be cool. And we're all, that's all we're going to do for this. Um, hopefully, this is a nice championship team. Um, Corey Joseph, Malik Monk is going to be starting. Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, Shabazz Muhammad, Kevin Love, Bobby Portis. I think this is some nice depth to it. I like it. Um, hopefully, it works out well for me. All right, so I'm just going to show you the rotation real quick. Real quick. We're going to have Malik Monk run the point guard, which is fine. Bradley Beal, uh, shooting guard, Otto Porter, small forward, Kevin Love, the four still. Chris Asperzingis, center. Hernan Gomez, Bobby Portis. I will... Um, Consider making some moves at the trade deadline if it's not going as well as I want it to But uh, we'll wait on that um, I'm just curious. I was curious about this guy down here actually small forward. He goes down. Okay um, Did I move him on I moved him to a center. I didn't mean to do that um, Go back to a power forward like you were just in case um, you could be nice to trade bait or something. I'm gonna turn um, actually, I'm going to leave trades on. I'm assuming like to the trade deadline, and hopefully we're doing well, but we'll have to see, and I will show if I make any trade deadline moves. All right, at the trade deadline, we are currently 34 and 23. It's nice. We started out kind of bad. I was like, uh, this isn't going so well, but then we went on a nine-game win streak. Kind of changed my mind about the whole thing. I do feel like... I want to make a move. I'm just do this for the hell of it. Although it really doesn't matter. Um, okay. Um, so what do I have? I want us to look at the player stats. Bradley Beal is doing nice. Um, Malik Monk is actually filling that point guard role pretty nice. Our backcourt's doing fine. Kevin Love and Porzingis. Now, Otto Porter is doing pretty well as well. So this is where I'm considering something. I'm tr considering. Training Kevin Love. This is in some second rounders. And see if there's just something out there um, well, that we could get that would help us out a little bit better. Um, I don't like. Okay. I didn't like how it was formatted like that. Can we not do that again, 2K? It was kind of weird looking at it. Okay. So, Jay Crowder, Serge Ibaka. Uh, Hassan Whiteside and Justice Winslow. That's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Can Chris Stapps? Chris Stapps could easily move back to the power forward, but that is pretty nice. That might be an offer I can't refuse. Kimba Walker, um, Tyreek Evans, and JaVale McGee. I'm trying to be very careful here. I don't want to make the wrong move. Andre Drummond, Marcus Morris. It's another deal I could consider. Kyle Lowry. Ooh, I like that one. I do like Kyle Lowry to come in and play point guard. But Leak Monk is filling that role for us just fine, though. I don't want to, you know, take that away from him. I am very much considering this Hassan Whiteside deal because, um, where is it? Hassan Whiteside. And then we get Justice Winslow, too, for depth. I'm doing this one. I love Kevin Love and all, but, uh. Saw wide side, you don't pass up on that, and you can move uh, uh, Chris Stapps back to the four, and he goes up to an 88. So we have three 88 overalls. You can't say no to that. Um, but now we need to be careful with our bench depth. Let's see what how we see how we looking now. Okay, um, Hassan wide side, Porzingis, Justice Winslow is starting now, and Otto Porter would be the sixth man, and Shabazz Muhammad. Is left off the, th the board you know do we try to make our team even better like do we try to overpower even more um, let's see what kind of trade value this guy has we don't have any first rounders so let's trade let's just trade him see straight up and see how much uh, he don't have any trade value but we are getting some offers um, 
Tony Tony Allen, nah. Um, okay, let's forget about that one. Let's see if we can. All right, so I don't know if either of these guys. No, probably not. It's probably not likely. Auto Porter, nah. So shooting guards, no. No. Okay, so I don't mind having two small forwards. That's fine, but um, if I have to do it this way, just East Winslow, you could go, and we can get Sarge in return, or Buddy Healed, and I'm thinking Sarge. We're gonna take the Sarge deal, and have a backup power forward better than Bobby Portis. Now, where does that leave us? We're doing a lot of things here at the trade deadline, but I'm trying to make our team win a championship here. Um, now we're, we don't have a backup point or we have, we don't have a backup shooting guard anymore or maybe we never did. I don't know. Um, so what if we trade Bobby Portis and Shabazz and Collins? So let's do this. Bobby Portis, Shabazz and Collins. That's it for a nice shooting guard. Clarkson could, Clarkson could fill that role. Nice. Um, move Clarkson to shooting guard, and we got our winner here. So, sh I just did a lot at the deadline, I know, but I made our team a little bit more overpowered. Now we have a uh, nice depth here, and uh, we're like 80s overalls all the way to the seventh position. So, and Malik Monk's also 77, still young, but he's filling out that role nicely. Let's keep going with the simulation and uh, see you guys in the playoffs. All right, so Willie Hernan Gomez for us wins uh, most improved. That's nice. Wasn't really expecting anything like that. Let's look at um, anybody on these teams. Bradley Beal, I wouldn't be surprised if he made it. Um, 2K, you know, is very interesting. We started going on like a seven-game losing streak towards the end. It was kind of annoying. I didn't really understand it. But, nonetheless, we have the same record as last year, and we're the second seed. Facing the Charlotte Hornets, I almost made a trade with the Hornets. I'm kind of glad I didn't. They got Lonzo freaking ball. Dirk Nowitzki, ooh, this team's pretty solid, but I think we could beat them. I think we have a very big possibility, but when I think I could do something, usually... Well, when it comes to 2K, anyway, usually it seems to not happen. We move on in five, so that's good. We're facing the Indiana Pacers. Um... What do the Pacers have? Miles Turner, uh, John, Zach Collins. Um, I think we can beat this team. 1-0, 2-0, and 2-1, 3-1. Yes, move on in five. We do. So we're going to be facing the Cavs or the Raptors. Raptors, nope, we're facing the Cavs. So probably facing Carmelo, or is he not there anymore? No, we traded Carmelo. So they have Yusuf Nurkic, LeBron. Oh, this team. We can beat this team. We're just facing LeBron. Uh, no Kevin Love. I forgot I took Kevin Love from him. Uh, no Tristan Thompson. So I think we can beat this team. We have more depth in them. Way more. But we are facing LeBron James. And if we get swept by the Cavs, I'm going to be absolutely done with 2K. That would be really dumb. That would be really dumb, 2K. Uh, so let's not do that. And uh, let's... Let's at least allow me to take him to seven if you're going to make me lose. Because that's only fair. But no. I'm going to get get swept by the Cavs, which is really stupid. Um, we are way better than them. Can we make them blow a 3-0 lead? Probably not. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. It's not happening. Whatever. All right. So we lose. I lost the end of the clip there, but, you know, that's it for me, guys. Leave a like if y'all did enjoy. And make sure to comment if uh, you want me to keep this series going. Comment the player that's going to be drafted if you want me to do that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead, click that circle button, and uh, that's it, guys. Uh, leave a like, and that's it for me, guys. Hope y'all are having an awesome summer. This is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.